Right then, so for question three, we, um, we've got a probability from a table question. Now all the totals have been given for us, so we're gonna get straight on with our answers here. So for 3A, what is the probability that a randomly selected patient is between 41 and 65? So we're going to think about all of the people who are in that age band, 41 to 65. So we've got 176, and we are just calculating the probability of the patient taken at random from the 500. So out of the 500 is in that range. So I'm going to use my normal calculator here. So just putting in the fraction as it is, 176 over 500. And that's just giving me a simplified one. But, and this was a mistake that I made when I first looked at this, I need it all calculated to three decimal places. So I need to make sure that every time I do any of these questions in part A, I do write it to 3SF. So 0. Point, let's bring it back up again, 352 there. Okay, now for part B, age 66 or over and charged in band 2. So the probability that they are over 66, oops, over 66 and in band two. So and in band two. So we're looking now at the people over 66 and in band two. So we have 68 people who fall into that category. And again, we are taking it out of the entire population. So 68 out of 500. So back to our calculator then. I'm just going to save myself a little bit of time. Uh, 68 over the 500 there and 0 0.136. Now for part C is aged 19 to 40 and charged at most band 1. Okay, so the probability that they are 19 to 40 and band one or band zero because then they would be being charged at most band one. So we are looking for the people who are in band zero there, 17 of them and the 62 there. So either of those two can happen. So it's either 17 out of 500 or from the 62 out of 500. And when we say or, we are always adding those two together. So now we've got our two fractions to input plus 62 out of 500. And then we get 79 500s, 0 0.158. So it's not conditional, it's not the first one is in band zero and the second one's in band one, which would mean we'd have to change our denominator. It's purely are they in the 17 or are they part of the 42. Now for part four, I've been mislabeling this so far, I've gone for ABC. So for part four then, we have been asked a given probability question. So age 41 or over, given that they are in band two. So the probability 41 or more given band two. So this is, is when we have a given situation that we end up changing our denominator. So what are we looking for then? We're looking only for patients, so I'll just highlight that, only for patients that are in band two. So let's just highlight band two. So this is the section of the uh, diagram that we are after. So in this case, we are saying 41 or more. So it's either these people or these people. So we've got our 35 out of, see, because we know they're in band two, so out of the 130, or 68 out of the 130. So it's either of those two cases that are, are being looked at in this case. So we are going to do our calculation once again. 
add that to the 68. And we've got 103 out of 130, which comes down to 0 0.792. So the vast majority, 792, are, if they're in band 2, they are 41 or over. Now for part 5, charged at least band 2, given that the patient was not over 66. So they are at least band 2. So that means that they could be band 2 or band 3. Given that they were not 66 and over. So our denominator is going to be all of the people not over the age of 66. So that is the under 19s, the people who are 19 to 40, and the 41 to 65s. Okay, and then what we're saying is it's going, they're either the people in those three categories that are in band two, or the people in those three categories that are in band three. So our numerator, the top number of our fraction here, is going to be 5 plus 22 plus 35 plus 0 plus 3 plus 31. So any of those four, sorry, uh, any of those six categories are okay. My denominator is all the people who aren't in uh, the 66 and over. So we could... Um, we can add up these the numbers I've highlighted or just do 500 take away 140. So my denominator here is 360. So once I've done that, I am just going to be putting all of this information into my calculator. So um, get the numerator right. And all of that is divided by 360. So it's 4 out of 15, or 0 0.267. So that is the probability that the person um, that is chosen is, given that they're not 66 or over, is charged at least band 2. Now, if you haven't looked at the mark scheme for this, um, just to let you know, it is um, for part 1, there is one mark. For part two, there is one mark. For part three, there are two marks. For part four, there are two marks. And then finally, for part five, there are three marks, which is how the nine marks given for this question are um, divided up. So that is part A sorted. I'll just remove all the workings for part A and then we'll have a look at part B. Okay, so with part B then, first thing to notice is that they've put in bold in the question that the four patients at the dental surgery not included in the 500. So what this means is that we're not going to be taking a patient out of our um, given 500 people. And what that means is that we're not going to have the situation where the denominator decreases. We're just looking at some other people using this table as a sort of relative frequency as the, the way in which we would find the population. So estimate three significant figures, the probability that two of these four patients are aged between 41 and 65. So two aged 41 to 65. And not in band zero. And two are aged over 66 and in band one, in band one or two. So the two people aged, so the first situation two in the category of 41 to 65, but not in band zero. So we're looking at these three here. Okay, so out of our 400 people, sorry, 500 people, we are after the probability that they are in this situation here. So just very quickly adding those numbers together, we've got the 82, the 35, and the 31. So we've got 148. So the probability that, and that's for one person. 
So it's that for the first one and the second one, 148 over 500 again, okay? So that's the chance, that's the probability of the first two people sorted. So they're, they're age 41 to 65 and not in band zero. Now two people aged 66 and over in band one or band two. So looking again, changing it now, we're 66 or over in band one or in band two. So again, it's not conditional probability. So we're out of 500, we're not in a given situation. And it's going to be the 53 plus the 68. So 53 plus the 68, 121. And again, we've got a couple of those going on. So that's where we get our first two marks from. They're either aged between 41 and 65, not in band zero, so that's those two, or they're aged 66 and over in band one or in band two, so that's those two. So we might write this as 148 over 500 squared, and this one, 121 over 500 squared. Now, when I first read this question, I thought then I'm going to be multiplying by 24, the number of permutations possible from this situation. So effectively, you've got your four people and you're trying to find it different ways. But then rereading it and looking through the mark scheme, it's not multiplying by 24. We need to do this, com this uh, one possible combination needs to be multiplied by six. Now, that's because what we are effectively doing here is we are trying to work out all the possible ways that we can arrange these four patients. How many different ways could they come out? So imagine we've got, they're either in category one, the first category, so they're either between 40 and 41 and 65, not in band two, or they're in category two, the second category, where they're over 66. So it could be that the first two people are category one, the second two are category two. The other combinations starting with a one are these two. And then if the first person was in category two, might be the second one's in category two, three and four, we might have that one, or the final possibility is that one. So once we've got these four people, two of them are in category one, two of them in category two. There are then six different possible arrangements that we could take. So we have to take this, um, this is the probability that one possible arrangement comes up and multiply that by six, not by 24, because we're not looking for is the first person, second person, third person, fourth person, and we're trying to arrange them in as many ways as possible. We are trying to work out of the people, how many different ways we can have two of them in category one and two of them in category two. So just to, for completeness, really, I'll just show that this does come to the correct answer. So we will then let's just scroll all the way back up to the top there. So on our calculator, then we are going to be doing um, the fraction 148 over 500 and there's two of those so two people so we're going to square that fraction we're multiplying that because it's and so the first two people in this permuta in this uh, possible situation are from category one and then the second two people are going to be category two so let's just uh, how to use a calculator uh, pop that in as well so from there, and that's to the power of two, and so that's one possible way, and there are six others with equal, um, the fractions don't change, so we can just then multiply that by six to find the correct answer, and we are asked to round this to three significant figures, so that's three numbers after the zeros at the front have stopped, so it's going to be 0, 0, 0 0.0308. So equals 0 0.0308, which is our final answer for our five marks there. So if you got to this stage, that was worth two marks. It was then the, the writing it um, in this sort of format here, where you're multiplying these two things together was a mark, identifying the six and then finding the final solution. So quite a long involved probability question there. 
part b taking a little bit of thought as to what number we multiply the final thing by.